last video in the year, so hopefully this one will be memorable. Now, we're talking about combinations, and combinations are a group of objects in which the order does not matter. This is different than a permutation, in which the order does matter. So if you're betting in a horse race, the order does matter frequently. Uh, who ends up first, second, and third. Uh, but it's, um, if, you have, if you look here closely, you can see here, a permutation is the lock on your locker. And so 330, 29th, that's your locker combination. Then that's the order you have to put it in. If you don't put it in that order, your locker won't open. Now, if you go ahead and put the 30, then the 3 to 29 won't work. So it's always confused me as to why they call it a combination lock, because it's not. It has to be a particular combination that happens to be a permutation. Um, so really, it should be a, a permutation lock, but I guess that doesn't have a ring to it. So now a combination is like winning numbers in the lottery. If you have choose these six numbers, and these six numbers are the winning, uh, winning numbers in the lottery, it does not matter which one you choose first. You can't put them in the egg order first. So 12, 34, 32, 20, 29, and 10. It doesn't matter. It just matters that you cho chose those numbers. If you have, then you win. So one way of figuring this out is to make a detailed list and then cross out the ones that are the same. And if you have, um, for this example, if you have two of the following teams, the A's, the Angels, the Mariners, and the Rangers, can make the playoffs, how many possible combinations can make the playoffs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to number this this guy right here. I'm going to say, well, the A's are going to be 1, the Angels are going to be 2, the Mariners are going to be 3, and the Rangers are going to be 4. So all we're going to do is we're just going to pull up this chart here. So there's 12 possible ways. And remember how we get uh, that there's 12 possible permutations because we would do 4 times 3 because there's only two things we're worried about. If we were trying to figure out the entire order, it would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 uh, of all the four teams. But we're just figuring out the first two teams, so it's 4 times 3. And now we start looking for the only we're looking for the ones that actually uh, cancel each other out. So on that first row, there's nothing that cancels each other out. So 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So now we start looking, well, where are ones that actually are the same? Because it doesn't matter what order they're in, just that the two make the class. And the first one we come to is this one right here. Because 1, 2, and 2, 1 are the same thing. So 2, 3, and 2, 4. Nope. So now 3, 1. Well, that's the same as 1, 3 up there. And 2, 3 is the same as 3, 2. So now we've got here, well, these here, so 3, 4. So now we look here, and 4, 1 is 1, 4. Same thing. And then we have 4, 2. Well, that's 2, 4 right there. There are 4, 3, and that's the same as 3, 4. So making an organized list, you see those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 possible ways. So that would be our answer, 6 possible ways. Now, another way of doing it is by figuring out the amount of permutations, which we already have up here, 4 over 3. And then we think about what are the other, uh, for this here, we're looking for 2 teams. So what's the permutations for 2, for the number 2? So it's just 2 times 1. Now we put those over. And I like to do it this way just because then I make sure I match it up because this number over that number and that number over that number, I like to start at the top going down and from the bottom going up because then I don't skip things by accident. So I always start with one on the bottom and the high number on the bottom, top. So this is just 12. And that's just divided by 2. So that's equal to 6. And so that's going to be our answer, which is the answer right up there. Now, if you look here, um, in honor of the girls who asked me to be in the video, this is the best I can do um, in terms of involving all the people that asked. And there's even a couple more people in there. So, is Story, Katura, Hannah, and Annabelle were in a race at the picnic? I don't know. Maybe it's the 50-yard dash or something like that. How many possible combinations are there for first through fourth place? Okay, so let's think about this. Combinations for first through fourth place. Well, there's going to be four for first place. 3, 2, 1. This is a little bit of a trick question because we're looking for combinations. So we're looking for first through four places. So there's four there. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. And it cancels each other out. So we're actually, there's only one possible combination because all four of them have to go ahead and finish in first through fourth place if only the four of them are competing. Now, if um, I suppose if one of them like 
fell over and got hurt or something like that, but we wouldn't want that to happen in this problem. It did, so don't worry about that. Now, in terms of for first and second place, that's a little bit of a different question. Remember, we still have that 4 times 3 thing here, so let's write that down. So over here we have 4 times 3, because we're just looking for first and second place, and there's four girls there. Now, for first and second place, since there's only two positions we're worried about, first and second place, we do the factorial for that. And so when we do that, we just have it like that. So. So 4 times 3 over 1 times 2. And then that's what our answer is going to be. There's a total possibility of, if we do this the right way, it's going to be 12 over 2. So that's going to be 6 again. So that's the same type of problem we did before as, as the previous list. Otherwise, I come up with a list with the KH and KA and SH and SA and all those sort of things like that. So I'm not going to do that because you can see that in the previous problem. Now, if we add a few more kids, if we add Kathy, Rebecca, and Harim in the race, then there's a total of seven possible kids in the race, right? So to figure out all the possibilities, um, we have to start off with seven for the amount of permutations we're going to have because anybody could be in first place. But it says here for first through third place. So we have to have three numbers up at the top. So seven times six times five. That's the amount of possibilities that we have. And if we were just asking for what the possibilities are for first, second, and third place, and they had, we had to get the right order that it was going to be Kathy in first place, or Rebecca in first place, and then uh, Kathy in second place, and Harim in, in third place. Then it would end up being this would be the final answer. But we're not saying what their first place and second place is. We're just saying who's going to be in first, second, and third place. So we have to do it this way. We have to go ahead and cancel some of them out. And we do that by multiplying on the bottom and then dividing on the top. So. So it goes up. There's three pos three things we're worried about here, because that's what it says right here. There's three. There's seven total kids involved in the race, so that's why you do the seven times six times five. There's three at the bottom, so that's why it's one, two, and three. And again, they always match up. So here, this is going to be 42 times five, which is going to be so 42 times five. That's 210. And that's divided by one times two times three, which is just six. If I remember all my math here, well, I'm going to divide by three first, so that's 70 over two. And then 35 is going to be my finances. So that's all the possibilities that they can have for first through third place. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Um, and I don't know who would win here, but I'm just guessing that there would be a great race and maybe all of them would tie in the end, but then they'd all end up in first place. But who knows? Um, and I hope that you guys had a good year and that these videos were useful. And make sure to rem remember to watch the things that you had difficulty with before the final exam we have.